with you, babe It's okay, no delay What's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nay. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button to become part of the Peace Posse. We would love to have you guys. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me on this look right here. So if you want to see how I got this look, here's some life updates and just, you know, chit chat and get ready with me, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Your support means the world to me. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get right on into this video. Hey guys, what's up? So I was just like in the process of doing my makeup right now and I figured why not turn on the camera and film? So that's what we're doing right now. My face looks weird. My hair is crazy. I honestly have not been having the best couple of days. So yeah, I just wanted to have a little get ready with me so we can sit down and chat. I don't know. I'm like feeling weird. I have not been feeling good lately. It's been a rough couple of days. Um, I have said in a previous vlog that I'm actually allergic to dairy and I risk it every once in a while for ice cream. And guys, I risked it. And was it worth it? Absolutely not. Definitely not worth it. So um, I have been out of commission for the last couple of days. And yeah, this allergic reaction was pretty bad and definitely reminded me that... Dairy's not our friend, so looking like a super plant-based year, but I'm glad to like start eating better. I started exercising, and I think that that's pretty cool because I finally got cleared from the doctor, yeah, which was a long time coming, so I was just super nervous about my heart because if you did not know, I have had heart surgery, and I actually got a defibrillator. Excuse me. I already have a pacemaker, but I upgraded to a defibrillator I was gonna say this year, oh my god, it's 2019. Um, I upgraded to a defibrillator in 2018, but yeah. Um, I am gonna be doing an updated pacemaker check for any of you guys who care or are curious because I did get a new pacemaker machine. I've actually had it since I got my new defibrillator or defibrillator machine, my CareLink machine, whatever you wanna call it. I got a new um, device, there you go, to check my pacemaker and defibrillator at home. So look out for one of those videos. It's probably going to be in a vlog just because it's a little different. Not everybody has to do stuff like that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get on into doing our makeup or else I'm going to sit here and talk to you for like ever, which is totally fine with me. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do our eyes today. I think I'm going to do like a bright look because it's kind of raining outside. It's Monday. So I was thinking like Monday blues. So I want to do something super cool, maybe like a blue smoky eye or something, but I'm thinking maybe bright colors. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and get right on into the makeup. I'm actually using the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette at the moment. And I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's called Zobo. And this is one of my favorite palettes, you guys. It's super gorgeous. Just don't mind the messiness on mine because this is literally one of my most used palettes. But yeah, I'm just going to go in with Zobo and put that in my crease. And yeah, I'm just buffing this guy on into my crease. It's kind of like sloppily at first and then I like go windshield wiper motions. And then I like to go in like little circular motions just to blend it on out so that way there's no harsh lines. Like there's like a little harsh line here, but that's okay. We're just gonna work that guy on in until we blend it on out. I don't know why I'm acting like it's a tutorial when it's literally a get ready with me, but that's okay. We all love makeup, right? And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other eyeball. So I kind of want to intensify this a little bit and kind of bring a little bit more pink into the look. So I'm going to go in with this busted Morphe 12P palette. This is like totally discontinued. They don't even have this anymore. It's one of my favorite palettes. As you can see, like I literally hit pan everywhere and I'm about to hit pan everywhere else as well. But I'm going to go in with this pink shade here. There's literally... There's literally no shade names, but I'm going to go in with that pink color and just kind of like intensify this guy on up just a little bit because I want a little bit more life to the party, if you know what I mean. And just that little bit kind of gave me what I wanted, so place that there and then just buff this guy on out as well. Now I'm just going in with like a clean little blending brush and blending out this edge here. 
But yeah, you guys, so I have not been feeling well the past couple days. I even went home from work yesterday, which is wild, and that's totally not like me. But I was not feeling good. I had an irregular heartbeat, and I was just so sick to my stomach, like, to the point where I was throwing up all day. Like, it was ridiculous. I just was not feeling good, so I've been a little bit out of commission and just kind of taking some time for myself which is really nice but I'm ready to get back on into it not like that I haven't been doing anything I just feel like I'm expecting so much from myself this year which is really good but I also don't want to put too much pressure on myself because I tend to forget that I did just have heart surgery last year and that's kind of a big deal. So I need to be proud of myself every once in a while and give myself a little pat on the back. Because regardless of how I feel I'm doing in life, truth is, like, I'm a miracle. I need to know that, that I'm blessed. And I'm very grateful. So I just need to, I want to humble myself a lot this year and just love the life that God gave me. So yeah, you guys. I guess I'm trying to look at the brighter side of life, I guess, because these past couple of dates have been rough. I have not felt like that in a while, so glad to get that out of the way, and hopefully I'll feel better soon. I'm still not 100%. I still am feeling like a little bit of tightness and just extra beats in my chest, which... I don't know if you have a heart condition too you may know but it's just uncomfortable really so yeah um I'm gonna go in with blue on my lid I think I don't know really what I want to do but this is kind of like gonna be a bright crazy look and don't worry I'm gonna clean up like the edges and all that right now oh my god you could totally tell like this eye I've always mentioned it before but like I have like a busted blood vessel from one of my surgeries from when I was younger but I just like notice it more and more as I like look at myself on camera but yeah that sounded so vain ew I'm not vain let's let's not think that <laughs> but yeah um I'm going to go in with this blue shade here once again there's like no names or anything and let me find a brush I'm actually I think I'm going to pack it on the brush and then pack it on my lid first. Ooh, or do I want to go in with concealer first? I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my lid just so that way it's sticky. I'm just going to pack this guy on my lid. Now I'm just taking that first blending brush and with no extra product and just kind of blending those edges so that we get a little bit more seamless blend. And then I'm going to go in and put some purple on the outer corner, I think. Now I'm going to go in with this highly used purple from the Morphe 12P palette and just put that on the outer corner of my eye a little. Just kind of like right here. Just pat it and then I'll blend it out in like little circles. But yeah, you guys, so how has your 2019 been treating you so far? Honestly, mine has been so crazy and it's just barely into it, but it's okay um yeah I've been sick the past couple of days which has not been nice and I guess not sick just like I had a I don't even want to say had an episode I just wasn't feeling well wasn't feeling myself there you go I'll say that and there's just been a lot going on I've been like super stressed out about a lot of things um the anniversary of Carlos's mom's passing just came up and that was honestly really hard it's been a year since and um feels like it was yesterday so that was really tough and just i just been trying to be there for him for everything of course and um my dad was actually in the hospital and he had a little episode with his stomach which is not good but if you didn't know my dad as well has had heart surgery a lot of um, people in my dad's family have so that's where I do get some of my genetic um, history of heart condition from but yeah it's just been a rough week I guess you would say so I'm just ready to kind of get the rest of 2019 going and just do better this year and feel better and both physically and mentally I think that that's very important 
But yeah, you guys, it's just, just take care of yourself because I care about you. So make sure you drink your water and take your vitamins and yeah, just take care of yourself, guys. It's like super important. But I think I'm going to go in with concealer and then finish up the face and then we'll do the lower lash line because I know it's like super crazy right now. But once we smoke out the lower lash line, I feel like it'll kind of tie the look on in together. But yeah. So I think I'm going to cream contour today as well. I'm just using like a little Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick blend it out with the Alexi Pro Precision Face Brush you guys I have really big goals for 2019 I just like really want to like go after my dreams and just I don't know like I never had like a set destination of where I wanted to be in life I just know that I wanted to be like a good person and helping people so I think that I just want to make like more I don't know not like self-help videos but like videos that are going to make an impact if that makes any sense I love beauty videos and all that and they're nice and they're fun but I think I want to kind of like talk about like real things that everybody goes through and you know everybody has struggles and hard times and a lot of times we just see like happy stuff and that's not the reality for everybody all the time I mean like there's a lot of things to be happy and grateful for and I'm not saying like to not be happy like or that I'm not happy I'm just saying that you know there are struggles that we go through as human beings and I just want to be able to like relate to you guys a lot more so yeah I just want to like make a lot more videos that I know that other people will be able to understand or will be able to relate to so but yeah you guys I have a lot of like video ideas I just I think I was stopping myself from doing them um I think a lot of them are things that I just like don't want to talk about or deal with but that's also why I'm kind of like wanting to do this as well this year on my channel um I feel like last year was just kind of like my first taste at YouTube if if anything because like I'm not like a successful channel by any means but I was just really going for it and kind of like being myself and doing what I really wanted to do so that was nice and I actually have had a YouTube channel before in the past I started one in high school um it should still be up because I lost the password and all of that stuff it's kind of embarrassing it's like a lot of my music and stuff but that was cool and I look at those videos every once in a while and I'm just I, don't, I look at those videos every once in a while I'm just like dang like I didn't care, you know, and I just kind of want to get back to that. So, yeah, I really want to do, like, videos that are going to make an impact. And I think one of the first videos that I want to do is kind of going to be, like, about my anxiety, my mental illnesses, um, the fact that I have PTSD, living with PTSD, because um, a lot of people don't know that I've gone through heart surgery and have literally I've dealt with a lot so medically physically emotionally you name it so yeah oh this is kind of like a lot of blush um, let me tone that to down but yeah I just really want to make like a video about like my mental illnesses and how I deal with it and how challenging it has been because it's been extremely challenging and I just know that that's something that everybody could relate to because I do have like a lot of bouts of anxiety and depression at moments and um yeah I think it'd be nice for me to relate to you and you guys to relate to me if that makes any sense but yeah that's one of the videos that I would like to do so I really hope that you guys would like to see that so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see something like that but I'm probably going to do it for my sake as well so I really hope you guys would enjoy some like real deep content I'm guessing but yeah I'm gonna just pop some blush on. I am going to set my face. Where did my setting spray go? Set my face with this Morphe um, continuous setting spray that I'm literally addicted to. I like love it. It's life. This is life. But for highlight today, I'm just using my Kylie Salted Caramel, literally a staple in my everyday. Putting on some more highlight. This one is from Artist Couture. I put like some eyeliner on off camera. Some lash glue drying on some lashes right now. So those will be ready to pop on in a second. But yeah, you guys, I have a ton of cool ideas for 2019. 
just gonna bronze my face up a bit I popped some liner on and some lashes off camera as well smoked out that lower lash line I'm just like bronzing my face up so I feel like it was like lackluster it was like lacking something so yeah I'm just gonna do that here and then I'm also going to set my forehead because it's a little shiny. But yeah, you guys, I have a ton of great video ideas for 2019. I have like a lot of DIYs that I want to do. Of course, makeup tutorials, beauty videos are going to be in there. But I want to do something that's going to make an impact and yeah, change the world a little bit. Or at least somebody's life. I think that would be nice. But um, let's go ahead and finish this look off with the lips. Okay, so for lips today, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Vintage. This is one of my favorite colors. It's like purple. It's like it's like purple. No, it's like a really shade. It's it's like a really pretty purple shade. And for inner corner highlight today, I am using Artist Couture Illuminati. Just popping that in my little corners of my eye and a little bit on the nose blend that out do like a little line All right, guys. Well, this is the final makeup result. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm actually like really digging it as bright and bold as it is. I'm like really in love. I love colors. But yeah, you guys. Oh, there's something in my eye. Okay, just look up. All right. But yeah, you guys, I had a lot of fun chatting with you and kind of like venting, I guess, and like getting a lot of stuff off my chest and just being real and honest and open with you guys. And that's what 2019 is going to be. So I'm super excited and I hope you guys are too. I just really want to put like good quality videos that I am passionate about. I think that that's very important. So yeah. Oh so yeah, you guys be expecting lots of beauty videos, a lot of wisdom Wednesdays. Um, DIYs are coming your way and yeah, just stay tuned. I have a lot of fun things in store for you. But yeah, peace and love to you always and I hope to see you in my next video. See you later, alligator. Bye!